Canali Travel Cup, FQ Cup, call it what you want, but at the end of the day, this is about qualifying for the FFA Cup Final 32. Hello, I'm Rafe Griffin and welcome to this Queensland Soccer News special presentation of Moreton Bay United versus Lions FC from Walter Park. This is our little way of saying thank you for your support over the last three months. 6,000 followers on Facebook, it shows that you really have an interest in the code around the whole state. Tonight, it's all about National Premier Leagues versus Brisbane Premier Leagues. Moreton Bay, one of the newest clubs in Australia, an ambitious club who will relish the dream of playing on the national stage, while Lions will be wanting to once again show their wares to the rest of Australia. A club with a proud history, including previous representation at the National League level. Both sides currently sit in the top four of their respective competitions. Moreton Bay has suffered just the one loss from seven matches in their NPL campaign so far. They sit in fourth. They have a clear advantage in leading the NPL goal scoring tally, but at the same time have also conceded the fifth most goals, a symptom of an inexperienced but developing backline. Meanwhile, the 2013 Brisbane Premier League Premier's Lions have struggled to live up to that form at times in 2014, but still managed to be in third position with six wins from nine matches. They possess plenty of experience in their squad, so it should provide an interesting contest of experience versus youth. In the dugouts, two experienced coaches in Terry Kirkham and Graham Ross, and we caught up with the home coach, Terry Kirkham, prior to the start of the match. Well, Terry, thanks for allowing us access into the dressing room prior to the match. What have you said to the boys about this cup match? Oh, no, no, we're all pretty keyed up. All the messages are on the board for them, and, um, you know, we've, we've been heading a certain way now for a long time, so, you know, boys know what they need to do. Of course, you're familiar with Lions during their time and your time in the Brisbane Premier League. What do you expect tonight? A oh, very difficult game. They're, they're a very, very good side. We watched them here a couple of weeks ago with, uh, at all, against Albany Creek. So when you've got Tomo running around and some of the experienced players that they've got with the capabilities of some of the younger boys and a very experienced coach, we know it's going to be a, you know, a very tough battle tonight. Well, that's the build-up. Enough from me. Let's get straight to the match action. Let's take a look at the team lineups. And first of all, it's the National Premier League's Moreton Bay United. And a player to look out for, number nine, Royce Brownlee. Plenty of experience, including in the A-League, and he currently leads the goal-scoring tally in the statewide competition. For Lions FC from the Brisbane Premier League, two players in particular to keep an eye out for, number six, Brody Kenyon, as well as number eight, Kentaro Ishikawa. He was the player of the series in the Silver Boot pre-season competition. Referee for tonight is Rebecca Durkow. She's assisted by Matt Mayle and Carmelo Pulverenti. Matisic with the throw in. Aimed towards Mendy. Cut out there by Druick. Commits the foul and it'll be a Jets free kick. Nakauka over the free kick. Puts his ball in towards the goal. Cleared away by the Lions defender for a corner. Corners played in. Headed away. Nakauka, he's going to get a second chance at it now. Drifts his ball in towards the box. The target was Brownlee, but Mendy's unmarked at the back post. And Charles Mendy gives the Morton Bay Jets an early lead here at Walter Park. Let's take another look at it. Nakauka, Brownlee quite obviously the target. He went a second too early, but fortunately Mendy had the chance at the back post and the Jets lead 1-0. Aparicio with the clearance. One there by Lyons. Butler brings the ball down for Ishikawa. Gets the ball back again. Drew it calling for it. Ishikawa, great little ball and a great little run here from Butler. Butler takes his shot. Aparicio gets his hand out. And able to tidy up. Zavax with the goal kick. Goes long. Headed on there by Canyon. Cleared by Hooper. Farina, he can't hold on to it. Ball's played forward. Here's Kenyon, another save again from Aparicio. Jets on the counter now, Nakauka. Plenty of yellow shirts ahead of him for options. He switches it out to the left. Moses Joseph, Brownlee around him. Instead plays the ball in. Nakauka, back heel from Mendy. Brownlee, here's Mendy again. Nakauka, ball over the top. Mendy tries to bring it down. Shot in from Farina. Joseph's second effort, off target. Free kick here to Lions. Headed on. Close. Aparicio saves again. And the Jets clear from danger. Or oh, high foot there from Moses Joseph. And Lions will win a free kick. Thomas over the free kick. Drifts it in. Ishikawa's able to get his head on it. 
And there's the equaliser for Lions. Let's take another look at it. Greg Thomas beats all the Morton Bay defenders. Ishikawa is the man on the spot. And it's one all. Aparicio with the goal kick. Brought down by Brownlee. Lions clear up field. Headed on by Kenyon. Shot comes in. And Butler's wide of the post. Free kick from the Jets. Joseph. Back for Farina. On to Matisic. Little build up here from the Jets. Nakauka into the centre of the park. Farina for Brownlee. Brownlee turns on the edge of the box. His shot's wide though, but it's taken the deflection. Matisic down the line for Nakauka. Farina. Again switched out to the left for Joseph. Joseph, little ball through. Can't find his target. Austin, dispossessed there by Butler. Lions going to come down the left now. Ball's played through by Druick. Headed away there by Hooper. Close. Comes back. Ball's played in towards the box. Kenyon for Ishikawa. Ishikawa's got room to move. Could have had a chance first time. Morton Bay defenders able to recover now. Ishikawa. Ball handed off. Here's Druick. And I think Morton Bay are going to be able to come away from this. Lions again playing a ball into their attacking half. Headed on. Druick attempts to win the ball. Now falls for Ishikawa. Ishikawa. Just held up there for a moment. Plays the ball through. Desperate little dive there. Free kick played in. Headed on. Here's Druick. Save from Maparicio. Ishikawa on the volley. And I think Austin's trying to control it but couldn't. Ball's played into the box. Ishikawa, narrowly wide. Down the line for Matisic. Goes in field. Nakauka, who's come back. Try and help out. Austin. Ball on for Mendy. Mendy chests it down. Just took a heavy touch. Wharton Bay supporters looking for a penalty. Let's take a look at it. Defending here from Carlos. Perhaps a little push, but I think it's a 50-50 challenge. Zabax. Farina got the header on, but it's going to fall Lyons' way. Druick. He loses out in that challenge. Now here come Morton Bay on the counter again. Nakauka into the centre of the park for Austin. Now for Joseph. Joseph drifts the ball in for Brownlee. Headed away by the Lions defender. Chested on. Brownlee puts the pressure on Druick here. Dangerous little ball in towards the goal. And Mendy can't quite get on the end of Farina's pass. We had a bit of drizzle during the first half. It's really starting to bucket down now at the start of the second. Zabax with the long clearance aimed towards Kenyon. Hands in the back there from Schumach and a free kick to Lyons. Thomas over the free kick, blasts it in. Now Parishio looked to have it covered though. Corner here to the Jets from Nakauka, played towards the near post. He'll get a second bite of the cherry. Corner's played in. Brownlee goes down, perhaps a symptom in the wet conditions. Austin shot wide. Free kick here to Lions. Headed away there by the Jets defender. And they'll win a throw in. Zapone looks to take it quickly. Aim for Capello. Zapone gets the ball back. Under pressure here from Aviles. Turns it over. Thomas. Close. Chested down by Kenyon. Cut back for Butler. Butler pokes it past Aparicio. And the Lions have the lead for the first time tonight. 
Second look at it. Close controls it. Plays it closely for Kenyon. Cuts back. And Andy Butler puts lines 2-1 ahead. Free kick here to the Jets and taken quickly. Down for Mendy. Under pressure there from Velezquez. Played in towards the box. Farina comes out to Austin. Austin forces the save from Zabax. The pony with the throw in. Aim for Brownlee. Brownlee the ball for Nakauka. Nakauka goes down. Shouts of a penalty claim from the Morton Bay supporters. Second look at it. Druick and Nakauka. We focus in on it. I think Druick had his foot there first. And Nakauka has fallen as he's tried to control the ball. Played in by Nakauka from the corner. Matisic gets around the Lions defender. Matisic tried to take his shot. Save from Zabax. Down towards the byline. Cut in. Can Mendy be strong in the air? He can. Challenges Zabax. Carlos was the one who cleared. Tight defending here from Lions. Still anyone's ball game with 15 minutes to go. Under pressure here. The young Jet squad putting Lions to the sword. Long ball played forward. Kenyon! Kenyon gives Lions a two goal advantage. On the replay, they are able to eventually clear it, Lions. Kenyon gets around the two Morton Bay defenders and calmly slots it past Mario Eparicio. Goal kick here from Zabax. Goes long. Two number 10s go at it. Thomas certainly has the height advantage over Austin. Here's Lyons now. Butler picks up the ball. Butler! Well, that's probably the winner there for Lyons. 4-1 up. Five minutes to play. Let's take another look at that. Lyons able to create some space. The ball's played through. Butler, he's got speed on the two Morton Bay defenders. And his finishing prowess shines through. Austin. Now for Zapone. Morton Bay really need to score here to keep themselves in this match. They'll have an opportunity through a free kick. Austin plays it in. Gets over the head of Zabax. And perhaps we're going to have some late drama here. Austin drifts his free kick in. Zabax goes over his head. 4-2 now to Lions. They really just need to hold on to possession here, Lions, to guarantee the victory. Free kick's played in. Butler unmarked. That will definitely seal it now. Complaints from the Morton Bay defensive offside. Let's see if we can take a look at it from the wide angle. No, they all look pretty clear there. Legitimate goal. And Lions will progress to the next round of the Canali Travel Cup. And Andy Butler makes sure of it. A hat trick on the night. 5 2 to Lions. Austin. Brownlee still fighting to the end, the Jets. Nakauka still working hard. Kenyon. Can they put on a half dozen here? They're looking to. It's Butler again. Butler! Deflection off Aparicio. Falls wide of the post. Aparicio just rolls it out. And that's full time. Lions FC. 5-2 victors over Morton Bay United in this Canali Travel Cup match. First half's rather even. The you had possession, they had possession. What did you make of the first half in particular? Oh, uh, we weren't happy. It's um, you know, we, we had to absorb a lot of pressure, but we, we certainly didn't play the way we wanted to play. And and um, you know, I thought Lions were, you know, were on top, and I think we were, you know, quite lucky to be fair. 
second half you had a lot of possession, a lot of chances, you just couldn't make anything of it? Yeah, look, um, you know, happy with the second half to a degree, but um, winning games of football against good, solid, experienced, well-drilled professional sides is a different ball game. And, you know, defensively, it's just very, very simple. And it's, there's no misunderstanding. We are just currently not good enough. And um, that's the things we need to work on. But, uh, you know, look, at the end of the day, have to say to, uh, to have that result at home is very, very disappointing. There's no mistake about that. We talked about it after the match against Olympic, I guess, of a similar standard to Lions tonight. Is that where you have to improve in your defence? For sure. And, um, you know, look, as I said, we've, we've conceded goals for the last, um, you know, three games. And, look, we know where the issues are. And, uh, and you know, we're not hiding from it. And I'm certainly not going to hide from it. It's a problem. And, uh, you know, we need to deal with it quickly. We're trying to remedy it by turning midfielders into fullbacks. And, you know, we're trying to, uh, uh, you know, make defensive midfielders into attacking midfielders and attacking midfielders into defensive midfielders. So we are trying to, pl you know, plug the gaps. And, um, you know, but look, at, at the end of the day, there is absolutely no excuse for what we've just conceded here tonight. And that's really straight to the point. It's not good enough. Well, Graham, congratulations on your 5-2 win tonight. Certainly a convincing win over Moreton Bay. Yeah, listen, uh, boys uh, stuck to a game plan. We had a, you know, a, a game plan in mind, and um, we executed it very well. You know, we wanted to put them under pressure quickly. Uh, we wanted to get in their half as quickly as possible, and uh, we were a little bit, uh, you know, well, we were quite direct tonight compared to what we usually are. Um, basically, our whole back line was out tonight, so the boys that filled in were superb. Um, so yeah, we wanted to play as much in their half as we could. Uh, we knew they were a little bit um, susceptible to conceding some goals. They've scored, conceded nine goals in two weeks. So we wanted to put them under the, the pump early, as, as, like I said, as quickly as possible. And we did that. And in the end, we got five. And I think we could have got a few more on the break as well. So they're a very good side. And they put it down and played some nice football. Um, but I think, um, you know, we defended extremely well. We wanted to be very compact and just slide and not uh, jump out and create holes for them. And um, it sort of um, frustrated them, I think. You mentioned the defence. Royce Brownlee was kept uh, rather quiet tonight. Was that a deliberate tactic? Oh, absolutely. He's the top goal scorer in the league, and he's uh, he's uh, you know probably the class striker in out of both leagues. Um, so um, yeah, that's obviously you have to target him. Um, and uh, I think the boys did well. You know, we had a couple of inexperienced boys in there that uh, were very disciplined, and yeah, he turned them once or twice. But um, you know, overall, we did pretty well. This is obviously a competition on the national stage. How, is it imp how important is it for Lions to get back onto that national stage? Of course, we know National Soccer League uh, experience in the past. Absolutely, you know, it's a great concept and uh, we want to do as well as we possibly can. You know, it's, uh, I said to the boys tonight, it's, um, you know, it's really about them. You know, they can put themselves on, like you say, the national stage and, and um, you know, it's a really exciting concept. So f for them, you know, it's, um, it was really up to them how much they wanted it tonight and I think they showed that. Joined by my partner in crime, Shane Jeans. What did you think of the match, Shane? Thanks, Rafe. Yeah, look, it was an interesting match. Certainly, uh, the first half, you could say that uh, well, it was very even. It seemed to ebb and flow. Ten minutes each way. Both teams dominated, territory and possession. But certainly that second half, it appeared that, uh, that uh, Morton Bay had an extensive period of territory and had a lot of good chances, a lot of creativity from the flanks, but just weren't able to finish in the final third. Lions counter-attacked, had three or four good chances and, and put them all away. So, you know, on the balance of the match, you'd probably say uh, Lions are well-deserved winners. Uh, difficult conditions out there too for uh, free-flowing football, but I thought both teams uh, put in a, a top-notch performance. Well, thanks, Shane, and uh, thanks to the rest of the Queensland Soccer News crew. We hope you enjoyed this show, and uh, hopefully we'll be back with a lot more highlight show later in the season.